Hello there, my name is Retro, I use to review cartoon series, anime series, so what's up and could be random, I didn't do a statement like to call unbending animated films. Those type of films, I can review that films are basically a different countries and never have a chance to cross over here in the United States. Or film was not like Disney or Pixar that not that popular, but they are basically whole main American films, people just 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 doesn't talk about them. Those are the films I want to talk about this type of segment. I really do this like once in a long while, but I really want to talk about Spy Size, if I said the name right. It's basically made between two different companies in two different countries. One in France and one in China. The company's name will be IQIY Motor uh, Productions, if I said that right, and Lux Productions. Now this film was come out back in early 2000 in China and France. Now the total budget of this film be a total of 20 million and the box office take up over 128 million. So it kind of make in money kinda if you know how box office take really is. Basically they take 60% of the film at least the first week. The rest of it kind of comes down over the weeks. But all of that it made about almost all the money back. But of course, I don't think this movie has a sequel, but how the movie is entirely. I have to say, it's a good film, a very good animated film. It's one of those, like, I like how the approach they took about the animation. Like, the background is sort of realistic. If they blow up something, it feels sort of realistically, like, burn but it was sort of cartoony take up animals but you see the sort of fur they have that sort of the air brush them or sort of brush their hair you actually see it super well this type of film best described is completely worth watching in theaters but the question is this movie any good I have to say it's sort of a like a streaming film that's the sad part it's like it's not the best film but this movie has so much potential, especially the first 15 minutes because, wow, it felt they understood what they wanted to do. But they sort of fall to that hole of this is a family film. Not the family film, specifically a kid's film. And I feel that sort of was sort of fighting himself watching this film because they want to make it sort of realistic but still sort of cartoony, but at the same time, didn't know how to approach it. I don't know it's because of the budget it sort of struggles to land because you don't know how much money do you need to make a film. Basically you need about maybe 10, 15 million to make at least a decent animated film for at least for like straight to DVD or streaming service but if you want a good film you need about a little bit more like between 20 to 60 billion to make a a good film. You know what I mean? It's sort of how many times you have to rewrite a film. How many times you have to reanimate something to look good. And that takes a lot of money. That's what you need about 80 million or 120 million to make a really good film. You want to see sort of Pixar a type of film like Finding Nemo or Shrek. Whatever you feel about those movies or the companies they made like DreamWorks or Pixar. This is the reason why they spend so much money because you need time. Unfortunately, this movie, it feels they, I'm not sure because they don't know what they're doing or maybe the directors were fighting because there were two directors making this film. Now, besides the directors, how's the story? Well, you follow a character called Blenomir, one of the best ancient and sort of a secret agency who protect other animals, specifically rare adventure ones. But Blenomir is one of those characters that he's sort of a no nonsense take action type of guy. But the only problem is he's sort of reckless and he sort of does stupid things to get results. But he does get results. The reason why he's the best, but he's keep destroying building, giving injury to civilians, and you see he set a loose cannon. This is why they sort of bench him to a secret area that basically become the security to protect the secret MacGuffin that nobody knows actually this thing exists. And Vladimir is sort of upset. He doesn't know what to do, especially he find out that he has a partner called Hector, who is basically a tech rat. Like he is an ancient 
Vladimir, but Hector is completely different as Vladimir. Hector is basically the tech guy, the the rat tech, in other words. But the only difference between a Vladimir and a Hector is Hector is sort of dirty, filthy, sort of lazy. But when the action starts, he is very useful. You see his talent. But the only problem is Vladimir doesn't really like him. He doesn't like the idea of having a partner. I mean, it sounds sort of cliche because you see in a lot of agents or cop shows, new partners hate them, how different they really are together. But it's basically how Vladimir sort of grows as a person. Of course, there is one problem with this that is sort of hard to like Hector. Not Hector, I mean Vladimir because how asshole he is. He also Hector because Hector is sort of a fanboy nerd tech guy and you can see why I kind of dislike both of them but at the same time both of them have this sort of charm to them. And I feel that sort of charm kind of works with this film. Of course doing this moment trying to understand both of them they were sort of attacked in the base taking, taking their MacGuffin now sort of panicking and trying to talk to the chief they could get it back because half the lead in this lead hits in the hospital. This sort of kind of hospital that everybody could come in and come out. It's sort of in the middle of the whole town and Vladimir and Hector try to win in disguise as nurses to go in and to understand the situation and find the people who stole the MacGuffin. Now this is the thing that makes this movie super interesting is the hospital. How they have to work. How many different animals come in and come out instead of are uh, cured them, but the only problem is both of them are not very good being nurses or know what to do exactly. And on top of everything else, both of them are keep arguing. The other one push the other doing their job. Like they try to knock each other out so they can keep searching and learning where is the MacGuffin and the people. And I think that's what they're trying to do because after they introduce the hospital and the people inside, it goes crazy. It goes, I'm gonna say Looney Tunes insane, but not controlled. I mean, it's sort of a radical. You can't really focus because that was the point, but they do kind of over exaggerate. I mean, is there's like a moment in the whole film a snake becomes a dragon because it drink coffee. They never explain why he becomes a dragon. It's just a thing. I mean, that's the problem. That I don't know. I'm missing some. Chinese culture or French culture about this. It's a reference or not. I really don't know. It's super weird. It happens again later on. It has a reason, especially when you introduce the hospital. And like every little thing happen. It sort of have a sort of, what how you call it? Setting up things that you could see before it actually happened because they do callbacks of that moment predicting everything what about to happen of the end of the film. And one of those is really well handled, but at the same time it just sort of let feel because they do leave a lot of information on on the cutting uh, on the cutting floor because when they try to show you something they don't explain. Like when they had to go inside the hospital, they don't really explain exactly why. You understand you need to but they, how they approach it, like all explaining step by step, sort of throws you off. You have a, like a lot, a little moments like that. It's just like, yeah, I'm trying to keep up, but you didn't explain well enough. And I think it's one of the biggest issues. Like they have certain moments that it doesn't really need, or they didn't explain well enough. They try to be over dramatic, over doing things because it's a cartoon. And that's okay if you know how to do it the right way. I feel that's basically the weakness of this film. It's like they don't know how to sort of calm down. Like they feel they're sort of nervous. If we don't give chaos, the kids will not pay attention. I feel that's one of the biggest issue about this film. But they make this film bad. Uh, no, it's not bad or it's not terrible. It's an okay film, especially what happens at uh, the very end of the film. Because the end, the end of the film, it went crazy. In trying to make speeches, oh, I stick by my friends, the cheesy stuff, that kind of corny, sort of animated friends, I fought for my friends, stick by my friends. 
but you don't really need that this type of movie you just need to show it because it's okay to be cheesy if the movie is cheesy at the very beginning the only problem is they went cheesy kind of feels sort of off of this type of film it felt that sort of struggling they didn't know how to do it or they just sort of not sure or were forced to make that move because the higher up told them it feels like they have a lot of little hands like struggling who would take lead what's more I don't know if the directors were fighting I don't know if the companies who put the money on this film to make it more cartoony more crazy especially uh, they add a third character like she was hinting at the very beginning that she's this famous actress she's so well known but she's sort of a bad cheesy actress and she's trying to be more professional and she sort of find out these two agents are inside the hospital and forced to tack along with them she's not a bad character but it sort of I feel was a little bit forced I mean that's a lot of little moments feels a little forced like Vladimir sort of fall up with this nurse but it feels supposed to feel like oh it's just love it just sort of happens but at the same time you're doing so many things at once I feel it's just tacked on but once more it was completely worth watching this film because when I saw this back in 2019 that I really did was really did want to see this film because I was curious because no one really talked about it the graphics and the animation were really great but when I watched it I, I kind of understood why people don't talk about it it's not because it's super bad no no it's I want to say is I have to rate this film is like like a 5 out of 10 I think it's the best fair rating but it's something if you want to watch more animated films I kind of recommend it just keep your standard very low if you want to watch the film you can find it on Amazon I think you have a Google, Google, uh, Google Play Store they have the movie also I guess I'm not 100% sure about that but Amazon they do have the movie if you have Amazon Pl uh, Prime but all of that this film is actually pretty interesting because when they introduce the concept of they have to be on the download trying to understand where everything works in the hospital I thought it was a dumb idea but when I watched the film I see yeah I can see what they're trying to do this is a very interesting concept even this whole movie feels sort of a cliche it sort of depends how you do the cliche especially what type of meaning you, you put on like you could change the meaning completely if the the cliche becomes something else and that's why it feels because a lot of animations you don't have a cutty a, a, like a cup a uh, Police officer buddy buddy type of film. I mean you do, you have Shrek, but you never have like an ancient or a cop as a main lead in an animated film or a TV animated series. So it's sort of rare you have that in this type of film. And this film should it work, should it be 10 by 10 a great film because this film has potential. What's the first 15 minutes? This is like wow. This could be a really great film. The only problem is the little fumble. A lot of moments, especially the final act, that was, I feel they didn't know what to do, or they were forced to make it more cartoony, and they took it a little bit serious, like uh, like the Incredibles incredible now works. This could be as good, but of course, Incredibles was good because it has a high budget. They took the time to tell the story. This one, I don't know if they did it for the cash or they really wanted to make this work it's just they didn't know how to I mean it could be a dozen reasons why but the animation is great but you don't have a good story and it, it fumbles I mean be honest it kind of this but I kind of maybe recommend it if you have chance to watch the film just make sure keep your expectations very low it's not a bad film. It's like maybe the final act sort of ruins the film. But I still give it a shot if you're curious. If you want to see a different approach of animation with different countries. What they think what an animated film should be. 
uh, that's one of those things. But oh, that I have a decent a decent time watching this film. I have one question: Do you see the film? You heard of this film? Tell me down below. Let me know. I really got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.